Hi guys, it's me, and sorry the lighting not might not be very good, but today I'm going to be doing a review on, as you can see, the Frozen Fever Anna, and I was very excited when I saw her in stores. I'll just show you a bit of the detailing on the box. Okay, if I give you a close-up, you might want to read that by yourself. It says, Happy Birthday. Um, birthday party Anna, Disney's Frozen, as seen in the animated short Frozen Fever, Elsa throws the perfect princess party for Anna's birthday. Now we're invited to celebrate this very special day. And it has a photo of Anna and Elsa from the original movie, not from Frozen Fever. And then on the front of the box it says Disney's Frozen, birthday party Anna, and then it has... Anna from the f first movie, the original movie, and Elsa from the original movie. Then it has Olaf from the original movie, and it says, as seen in Frozen Fever with little snowflakes around the box. Um, and it's supposed to look like she's in the wintry place of Arendelle, if you can see the background, which it is with most dolls. You can see in the box a bit there. Um, and I think that's it. So I'll take her out of the box, and then I'll come and show you her. Okay guys, she's out of the box, but one thing I did want to show you before I um like started showing you her is you couldn't see because she was in the way, but there she had um is Arendelle Castle like Elsa left in the first movie. Now I haven't made a video of the frozen Lego, but I do have it. And um the frozen Legos of this um it's not of Arendelle, it's of Elsa's castle, and you might be thinking, why is there snowflake on top of Elsa's castle in the in the Lego stuff? Because um, Elsa doesn't have a snowflake on top of her castle, her ice castle. But I think it was referring to this. Just want to show you that, and then it has the reflection of it in the lake. So now, let's get on to Anna, who is absolutely, amazingly gorgeous. I'm going to start off with her hair. It's in a really really gelled and sprayed bun but it's absolutely gorgeous I don't care if it's gelled or sprayed um and then it's got a really gelled and sprayed um plait or a twist going over here I'm not 100% sure what it is sort of like Elsa in the first movie how she had a little twist going across her head I don't know if you guys noticed that in the first movie but she did because I've been I've been learning how to do the Elsa hairstyle from the coronation, not from the plait. Um, Elsa has... Anna, oh my god, it's Anna. Anna has a long fringe. Elsa has a bit of a short fringe in the first movie, but in this... in But Anna always has a bit of a long fringe. So it goes from here to here, and it's gelled at the top, but not at the bottom, and it's separated from the other bits of hair. You can see that. And it has... A sunflower the whole theme for Anna is in this is sort of sunflowers so Anna has a sunflower hair it's either a hair tie or a hair clip I'm not 100% sure but then she has the pieces of ribbon and you're like wait they're the wrong color for Anna because in the coronation she had th a really light green a really dark green and like a middle green but these are blues this is a really light blue, a really dark blue, and a really, and like a middle blue. Um, and that's sort of different to the first movie, the original movie, because, um, she had green, which I just want to show you. And now she has a coat. Um, it had elastic on the coat, but I didn't want that on the coat because I sort of wanted to be able to take it on and off and for her to look normal in it and stuff. So I took that off. And the elastic was also holding this over here. So this is what she looks like without her coat. But the coat is really nicely detailed. It has a sunflower and some yellow going around here, blue there. And the leaves sort of look like butterflies because, of course... This is in springtime, and she's got little flowering bits, and I'm just going to, the rest of the dress is all one piece. Uh, it looks like a couple of pieces or a few pieces, and if you bought like a costume online for it, it probably would be. Um, so it looks like she has a yellow undershirt. This gold bits goes to the first movie. I don't know if it's a tradition for Arendelle or something, but she just does. They all do. 
Um, she's got a really light yellow, springtime, happy, sunflowery colour for this. And it's got like a little sunflower pendant with a red or an orange gemstone in there. Sort of like a reddy orange and then blue around there and some brown around the outside. And then it has the little gold thing, which in the movie I'm pretty sure it had like a slit there a bit. Um, she has the same about the designs of the dress in the first movie, except this is sort of like a butterflies and leaf and leaves, not leaves. Oh my god, um, little aquary turquoisey things, and this is sort of a dark blue or a blue blacky color or a grey, maybe, I don't know, it's hard to tell, sort of a strange colour, really dark, blacky, grey, blue type thing, it's strange, um, and then here, if you look at her skirt, um, it is, uh, it starts off really light, like a light blue, and then it gets into like an aqua, and goes down to about a turquoise, and then it just has the turquoise trimming right at the bottom, and it has a sunflower here, uh, and sunflowers all around, and it has a yellow patterning all around, and it's really detailed because it even has them at the back, and sometimes with Disney dolls, they'll have the patterning on the front, and then on the back they'll leave it plain, which sometimes happens, which I get a little bit annoyed about. Sometimes it's not a big deal, but it sort of is not right. Um, there... Um, it has a little bit of, like, leaves and a stalk, um, a couple of bees to look like, um, they're mating, like, because in springtime, it does happen, there are a lot of more baby animals, I guess that's what it's trying to do there, and then, um, little tulipy looking things, and if I pull her skirt up a bit, sorry, Anna, um, she has green stockings, which aren't fabric, they're part of her, which sometimes gets a little annoying with the Disney dolls, because you can't take their um, stockings off, or sometimes it's with shirts and things, but this is really pretty, so it's sort of okay with that. Um, that is... These shoes are the same colour as this part of her dress. You see this part of her dress. Can you? It's sort of hard to see because of all the stuff out here. Um, like the brightness and things. Um, yeah, that top part of her dress is the same colour as her shoes. And they're high heels like most Disney... Oh, sorry, I've got a plane in my way. Like most Disney dolls, they're high heels. And they've got a little pattern here, which there seems to be a lot of gemstones and frozen and things. Signature flowers and things. That is that. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, so that's Princess Anna from Frozen Fever. If you guys um, want to see more videos like this, subscribe. If you want to see heaps of ever off. To high videos, subscribe, drawing tutorials, um, costumes, things like that, all that type of stuff you'll find here. Um, also, maybe st I'll maybe start doing maybe a bit of gaming. Um, I don't know. Sort of just random stuff now. Not really as much Barbie Disney dolls as they used to be. So there is Princess Anna from the Disney Frozen short movie which I did go and see and I really want to make a movie review of Cinderella and Frozen Fever which I probably will sorry my dogs are barking but yeah that's it so I hope you guys like this video and make sure to be sure to subscribe and leave a like that'd really be nice because I don't have as many subscribers as some channels I look up to right now and I'd really love to um so I guess that's it bye guys thanks for watching